I'm here with Nick Coles from Shelburne Orchards in Shelburne, Vermont. Nick, what are you cooking for us today? We got crepes, and we're gonna put a little sugar and some of our apple brandy on it, and we're gonna light it on fire. So what, you know, apple brandy, like, you guys actually made this. Yes. Yep. Which is which is very cool. And these, so your apples, and then what do you do with it to make apple brandy? Well, you, you ferment the, the cider, make hard cider, and then you put it in the still, and the still actually separates the alcohol out, and it comes out 100 and 40 proof out of the Ooh. still. We, we have to water it down a little bit, but we actually barrel it 120 proof. Cool. It loses a little bit uh, when it ages, but then it gets bottled. We haven't actually bottled any yet. We're yep. still waiting. Two years. But if you're in the cool years. club, sometimes you can sneak in like today. Yeah. That's what I like. All right. Yeah. So, so how, how do we make a crepe? A crepe is basically <clears throat> flour, egg, maybe a little bit of milk. And, yeah. And you use some local products in your crepe, right? Yes. This, uh, the flour is from Nitty Gritty Grain Company yep. in Charlotte. The, the, uh, the eggs and the milk are from the bread and butter Farm Which is a great Shelburne. farm. Yeah. I know they've been doing like a lot of like things where people come out and it's like hamburger night yeah. and stuff like that. And it's like yeah, they're like a Local. 500 people out there, yeah. which is it's awesome. pretty wild. It's awesome. So and there's some apple in it. So it's a basic crepe uh, recipe. I shredded a, some apples in there. So once it comes out, okay, uh, it'll, you'll see it's a little lumpy. I'm gonna let you do it, Sean. Cause... Oh, good God! <laughs> all right, all right. So this is our our, our crepe get griddle. But if you're at home. And you don't have one like a Teflon pan or a, like a French cast iron can work pretty well. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, get enough on there. Oh yeah. That is apple tacular. Apple tacular. I know the guys at Skinny Pancake right now are just laughing hysterically. That's probably going to be perfect. We want to make it big enough so we can get a lot of sugar, a lot of brandy on it. So this is a, a flambéed. Apple crepe is what it's called, what we're making right here. John's doing a great job turning that around. We're just going to cook it a little bit on this side, flip it over. And you kind of know it's done cooking when, when kind of all the batter dries out, right? Yeah. All right. You're asking me. You have a question. <laughs> and now, uh, you know, Shelburne Orchard is a pretty remarkable place. I mean, I, I know I come out a couple times a year and there's like, great playgrounds and then pick your owns but it seems like there's always especially on the weekends there's just hordes and hordes of people out there having a good time coming back week after week yeah it's fan it's most of the people coming down i gotta say our our family small kids yeah it's a real kid friendly place to yeah come. pick apples of course there's the cider donuts that if we didn't have there would be <laughs> there would be a riot on you know on our hands okay That's we're gonna true. flip this guy right now we're gonna Take it and woo, flip it right over, cook the other side. Spread him out a little. Man, that smells great. Yeah, this is almost ready. Great. And so, you know, what, what do we do from here with it to kind of make it? We're going to shift it over onto here. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle the, the sugar on it. The, the granular sugar goes on. The apple brandy goes on. It's 80 proof. It'll burn when you light it. Nice. That caramelizes the sugar. Okay. The brandy will burn out. It'll yep. be a nice blue. It'd be nice to get the lights down a little bit. We could get, <laughs> we'll see the blue. I don't know if it's possible, but it's a, it's a very light color flame, and um, we'll roll it up, cut it up, and we'll taste it. And then we'll eat it, it, which is always my favorite part. But I think this is ready to go. All right, let's slide her over. Slide her oh. over. Okay. It looks really good. You now do the sugar sprinkling? Sugar, and I'm not going to be shy with the sugar. No, you got it, you know, crepes got to be sweet. And then you got the flame. I got the flame. I'm going to just pour, I'm going to get it away from the hot plate. And I'm going to just douse this. With apple brandy here. And don't and be light on the brandy. Then we just light it up. Light it up. All right. Woo. So you can't really see it, but it is, it is, woo. Yeah, it's is, hot. It's burning. That is, that is definitely cooking. Let's give it a little shake. Now, pretty soon, that flame is, that, that is, that's a blue flame. You can't even see it, but there's a lot of fire actually going there. Yeah. And that's caramelizing that sugar. And in this bright light, it's hard to tell exactly when it goes out, but it's going to, you can, you can hear it. You can actually, hear it. It's, yeah. it's like this whisping, whisping sound, like you know, wind, wind going through the window sills. Mm -hmm. Wow, it smells incredible too. I mean, you, you get like that. You smell the alcohol burn off, but you also smell like 
Okay, the we caramel. Are, we are ready here. We're just gonna roll this up. Roll it up. Oh yeah. And I've got a knife here that my that daughter made. <laughs> and, she, and she actually is in Brooklyn right now making knives for, in a company called Cut Brooklyn, but she will be making them at the orchard. That's a great looking knife. Um, she'd be horrified because this is one of her earlier models. So, but anyway, great. there you go. Excellent. So that's bite size. Take a take one. Put. Oh my god! Wow, that's really. I mean, you, you taste like. You, the alcohol is not really well pronounced. I mean, it's it's really subtle. It's appley. And, and really appley. I mean, and it's not just a grated apple in there. I mean, you really do taste the apple, and you smell it, and it's sweet, and it's it's yeah. delicious. Yeah, there's a bunch of people out here that are just waiting to get in and say <laughs> some. They just kind of reach it and they're ready to do it. Well, but, thanks okay. for coming out today. Yeah. And, and if you guys haven't been out to Shelburne Orchards, it is a fantastic place to go to bring the family, to pick apples, to go get cider, to drink sweet booze, and to eat mad donuts.